Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to create question paper on Google form with time limit. Yes, in this situation we are going to create a test in online so that student can able to attend the test through online with the time limit. Let's see how to do that. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. Just log in your Gmail account. In your right hand side corner, you will find Google Apps option. You will find Drive. Just hit the button Drive. So it will direct you to the Google Drive option. Just click New and go to More and click Google Forms. So that using the Google Forms, we can create an online test. First, give the title. So I have given software testing subject name and this is CIA test. Now we need to make a setting option. Just hit the setting button. On top you will find general setting. Just hit the button collect email address and you can collect the email addresses and give checkbox to limit to one response so that students can enter their email address and they can able to give the answer only one time so checkbox and edit after submit do not give any other option and see summary chart do not give anything just to give collect email address and limit one response and click presentation op option you will find show progress bar and shuffle question orders once you give the shuffle question orders you will make a different kind of questions so the students can able to see different kind of question in the different places for example one students have the first question and other students have the first question will be the different so that you can give the shuffle question order so this is easy for online test option and give the confirmation message you have completed your test and go to the third option you will find a quiz just hit the button make quiz and release grade Immediately after each submission, do not give this later and manual review for the staff members, those who are see the result and they can give the manual review and they can, the respondent can see the missed questions, correct answers and point values also, they can able to see. So don't forget, everything should be in the tick option. So these are the three major important settings you need to make once you complete your setting just click save so automatically your email address box will be added here so that students can enter their email address and the first session untitled questions just hit the button and click name so name will be the short answer and click required so that students can enter their name with the required do not enter in any answer key just hit the button new question if you want to add the new question just hit the button add question and click roll number and this is also will be the short answer so that students can enter their roll number so if you want a number option you can give otherwise click remove so automatically they can enter the roll number and click required so don't forget every question they need to answer so that you need to give required option yes so the basic formalities is email address and name and roll number should be there after the sessions gets over we need to create a tick different kind of sessions just go to this just to click add session option you will find section 2 in this you can give so you can give the choose the correct answer so the mark also you can give so 20 you can give the mark also so now I'm going to enter the questions. Just click new so you can give the questions. What is a full form of RAM? So random. So I can I have given different kind of options I given like a multiple choice. So the students can able to enter the question answers. So give question mark so what is the full form of ram so random access memories random access memory right access memory like this i have given the multiple choice option so once you give the 
once you give the options you need to click correct answer key so that answer key give this is two marks and which is the correct answer just hit the correct answer and click done so your answer key will be added here what is the full form of the ram random access memory is the correct answer and you have given two points as i given 10 into 2 into 20 so that i have given the two points option so that this is a required field they need to enter the questions and answers just hit required you want to add more question you can click and add the more questions i have given four kind of uh, multiple choice again just click answer key and which is the correct answer choose the answer and give the points and click done yes so now you need to click required similarly you can create the questions and answers so now you want to have a different kind of session which is going to be a paragraph question or they can be able to type so just hit new session and click so three essay questions they are going to give just hit the button new and click what is software testing I have given so they need to give the long answer means you need to give paragraph so that long answer can give click answer key and give the points yes required field similarly you can create a different kind of questions like this in the students google form so that basic formalities and choose the correct answer two marks questions and 10 marks question also you can enter whatever model you want you can enter and add so this is a easy step you can create now i am going to install the add-ins timer option so how to give the timer option in your google form you will find three dots in your right hand side corner click add-ons and just search form presenter form presenter plus timer so just hit the button this is the form presenter and timer audience just hit and install just click continue so it will ask you your email address just hit the button just to give the OTP for the click next yes so that click allow yes your form presenter plus timer has been installed in your form just click done and close so that your add-ins will be added in the google form just hit add once and click form presenter plus timer just hit the button you will find a setup option just click setup So we need to set up the form presenter and timer so you need to give form title so change the image and i have given some online test kind of graphical treatment and the title so software so i have given software testing paper and welcome message welcome to first CIA test so I have given welcome message and so show the instruction you can give the instruction option so answer all questions so I have given answer all the questions and you can give the background image also just hit the button and whatever background image you want you can insert just select some images which is related to the online test so I have given some image background so now it's the timer control so we need to give the time limit so this here always and specific time so specific times if you click means you can give start date with the end date for example you are creating 25 August means you need to give start date and time 10 to the same August 24 
10 15 so that from here to here 10 15 the form will be closed you can give the specific time and click always and set the timer for example i have given like five minutes so this is a three questions only so i have given five minutes and allow for the break they want allow the break means you can give alter before one minute yes the message will be shown form will be closed submit before timeout so that after one minute it will, the message will be shown so that students can aware so five minutes four minutes it gets over only one minute they need to answer the questions so this is a major important part you need to give always our specific time also you can give according to your needs yes once you complete your timer option you can give the audience control action control and other settings do not enter any other do not enable any other option just click publish form so that automatically your form will be published and your link will be shown here view publish form and copy link to clipboard just to copy the link and share with your mail or share with your mail or whatsapp to your students i've given my students mail id and i can share the link to the students this is students perspective view in the mobile just they have received the software testing questions with the link you just hit the button so google chrome just once so directly it will direct you to the presenter option yes so the students can see the welcome message as well as the background the total timings also is there just to click start option the timing will be displayed here students can enter their email address and next so they can able to submit the correct answers and click next the time is running there so they can give their answers and click submit so automatically their test will be submit there so this is an easy way they can students can attend the test in online with the time this is a easy steps you can make it this is a teacher's view you can see the response so those who are having the response option the questions and individual answers everything will be displayed here yes now you can see the individual and you can see the options which is correct and all questions is there you can give the points so what is the software testing so they have given the answer you can give the points according to your students gave the answer so that you can able to save if you want to take as a excel file to submit in your management just hit the button create press spreadsheet and create a new spreadsheet click create so that you can able to analyze those students who attended the exam with the roll num name and the roll number and the correct answers and everything will be displayed here the track id also is there so that students those who are entered and whatever they did everything will be displayed here this is a easy steps you can create a test and make a timer so the students can able to attend the online test thanks for watching have a good day